rapture is going to happen and dead will be risen and we'll be caught up in the air with them. Hey, brother. So I'm making this reply video because your video came through my feed and I want to try to explain to you how we are to understand 1 Thessalonians 4.17 in conjunction with orders. Okay, 1 Corinthians 15.23 which orders point directly to the parables of Jesus regarding what are called the watch times of the night. So if you'll bear with me, I'm going to explain this to you so we can understand that there, the event of 1, Thessalon Th I'm sorry, 1 Thessalonians 4.17, the so-called rapture, does involve a pre-tribulation event. So first of all, here in 1 Thessalonians 4.17, we find a key word that goes unnoticed to most Bible students because of poor translation or not verifying words and digging deeper into the word of God by using concordances or the best Bible translation in the world, which is fixed tens of thousands of problems, where the key word here is the coming to the Lord's from encounter, which is the Greek apantasis. So apo, the FR is from apo, which governs motion away from something, which event here points to Matthew 25, where we find the same Greek word here. Now, how we determine the timeline in this event is the clue given in the middle of the night, which is midnight where when we come down to verse 10 and the door is shut is another clue. It's a key word, door, where the door that is shut is at midnight. So when we come to Mark chapter 13 in the parable concerning the doorkeeper, which is literally the door seer, Jesus outlines the four parabolic watch times of the night. Or eventide is the first watch time, which begins at 6 o'clock and ends at 9. Then midnight concludes the second watch time. Cox Voice concludes the third watch time. And then the morning concludes the fourth watch time. So each designation here is the conclusion of each watch time. Where again, midnight conclusion is when 50% of the sober-minded virgins come in to enter the wedding where the from encounter that I just pointed out is the time that lead up to the mid middle of the night. So we can determine the event here concerning the resurrection of 1 Thessalonians 4.17 concludes at the second watch time, midnight. Again, Matthew 25.6, the middle of the night from encounter, apantasis, where the door is shut which then leaves those into the third watch time who will also come into the Regency of the Heavens allotment among the last. And it's the third watch time, which is the time of the great affliction. So everything pre-midnight is pre-great affliction. And then post-midnight post is the great affliction, which the Cox voice, completion of the third watch time, completes the right hand. And then the fourth watch time is the judgment of so-called hell. Matthew 25, 41, the left named. So the first three watch times completes the right hand of Christ's body completion, where the Cox voice are the last to come in. And then the morning is the judgment into the morning of the new heavens and earth is the judgment of the left, which is the wrath of God. So the great tribulation is the third watch time. In Luke 12, 38, the second watch time, again, concludes at midnight. So, concerning the wedding feasts, there is a coming into the wedding at the disappeared first watch time, which in verse 49 here is called the uplight of the fire. All right? That's pre-affliction, pre-tribulation. And then those who come in to the wedding feast at the second watch time, the parable of the ten virgins, is also at midnight. So 
they they don't go into the time of great affliction, but the third watch timers do. But they have blissfulness, according to the faith thing, as coming in out of the fourth watch time. They There is no fourth watch time mentioned here. So the fourth watch time, again, is the Eonian fire prepared for Diabolos and his angels, and then the left named, when the right hand is segregated from the left named among the, the sheep who are last to come into the regency. And although the third watch timers who are locked out of the courtyard, John 10, will go through the time of great affliction of the third watch time, they will be led out of the fourth watch time, meaning they won't go into the fourth watch time. So here, Mark 13, 35, outlining the watch times, and we back up to verse 27, this is the context of the outchosen ones here. So the angels who are being dispatched are those who will have come into the wedding feasts, both at eventide and midnight, and they're, they're leading on together the outchosen out of the four winds. Okay, so this means they will not go into the fourth watch time, Yenna of the hellfire judgment prepared for Diabolus and his angels. So the point being is that everything from eventide and the midnight is pre-affliction. Where the context of the great affliction seen here in Matthew 24, 21 are the same days concerning the outchosen ones here. Those days will be pruned because of the outchosen ones where according to the third parabolic watch time, if there were ability might, the outchosen ones would be errorized. But they won't be based on the statement here due to the signs and wonders of falsification, where the four winds of Mark chapter 13, verse 27 is seen parallel here in Matthew, according to the time of the great affliction, which the great trumpet in the leading together, which I already explained by the angels, who are the officiating spirits who come into the wedding and then are dispatched into the service, lead them out of the four winds, the fourth watch time. But they'll still go through the great affliction. So there are two orders that, that are coming into the wedding who will become angels. Namely, the parabolic eventide first watch time disappeared here. Okay, where when you back up to verse 36... They're coming out of the wedding. So they come in at eventide. And then they're coming out of the wedding where those, according to the second watch time, midnight, will come into the wedding. And then they'll be dispatched as angels. But again, the first watch time order is the uplight of the fire Jesus mentions down here in verse 49, where the figure of fire here is seen in Hebrews chapter 1. Where in verse 6, this is the second coming, when he, the father, again leads the, a foreborn son into the dwellage, and then is the making of angels, okay, in the figure of flames of fire. Where again, verse 14, they're being dispatched into the service. Luke twelve thirty six going away out of the wedding feasts, which when one comes into the wedding feast, they're made into a, an angel. However, the context of up loosening here is the first watch time, which is pre-tribulation. And so is coming into the second, pre-tribulation, because the, the tribulation is the third watch time. In Luke chapter 11, the friend at midnight is seeking bread, three loaves, who are locked out of the door. Okay. However, Jesus said, I say to you, you third watch timers, as the audience request the bread, it will be given, which the bread is the figure of the body to partake and participate with the body of Christ. Knock doors and it will be open to you in the context of the third watch time because they were locked out at the second watch time where many are going to be locked out at the first watch time who are not understanding these parables, thinking that when Jesus comes right away, they're going to be raptured, which is not true. That's not what the word of God reveals to us. But the good news is 
there are two entering of the wedding before the great affliction. 